What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection Flashback. This is of course the Wrestlemania series. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and call it the Wrestlemania series. Bret Hitman Hart. Yes, I finally found this guy in stores. Here we have Bret Hart in the packaging. His glasses up here. He does have the WWF world title. On this side we have a nice picture of Bret. On the back we have a read-up. Brett Hitman Hart, aptly described as the excellence of execution, Brett Hitman Hart is arguably one of the best technical competitors in WWE history after he defeated Ric Flair with his patented sharpshooter to win his first WWE championship. He embarked on an incredible winning streak, living up to his own statement, I am the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. He would lose the WWE title at a controversial fashion at to Yokozuna at WrestleMania 9. Sorry, I had to scratch my head. But he refused to. But he refused to rest on his laurels. He was declared the co-winner of the of the Royal Rumble in 1994 after he landed outside the ring at the same time as Lex Luger, which earned. Which earned each of the right to compete for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 10. But it was Brett who took advantage of his opportunity that night, avenging his loss to Yokozuna to regain the title. Other figures in this assortment is Shawn Michaels and of course Bret Hart. The only two figures. So not much more to say about Bret. Beautiful packaging. It's a shame I have to open it. So what I'm going to do now is get him out of the package and continue his review. So stay tuned, folks. And so here we have Bret Hart posing out of packaging. Let's get a good 360 of this guy. I have to say, I am really impressed with this figure. There are some minor flaws with him, but I'll get onto that in a little bit. Okay, let's go on to the first thing that I don't like about it. I like and I hate it. I do love these glasses, but at the same time, I don't like them. Uh, if you can't tell, they're made of this pink plastic with a holographic sticker on it. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, the sticker's nice and it really does bring it out, out of the figure, but over time the sticker's just going to wear out and come off and it's already starting to peel on the edge right there and there's already some creases in it. So I'm not sure how to feel about this sticker. So let's just move that off to the side. He also does come with the World Heavyweight title, or the WWF World Heavyweight Championship, the Winged Eagle Belt really nice. There's a lot of neat designs in it. You can see the eagle, the world. This was always one of my favorite titles and it's it's like your basic titles. So you just tab in, tab it in and it can wrap around the waist of the figure. You can ha have him holding it. Really nice. Glad they threw this in. And then we have Bret Hart himself. Uh, there's a few minor paint issues that mine has. Uh, for instance, let's actually see if we can get a good look at that. He has some white paint on his back here, here, and at the bottom right here. And then he also has like pink streak, or this one pink streak on his forearm that's not supposed to be there. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of him. Uh, I'll probably just try scratching that one off. But here's Bret Hart. I actually do like that head sculpting. He is wearing black with pink. You can see it says Hitman on the side, on both legs. On the right leg we have the four stars, or the four hearts, excuse me. And then we have the stars on both his boots. His boots are white and black with pink trim. Okay, really, really glad I found this figure. Uh, like I said, a few minor nitpicks I have. Uh, one of them is he's missing his elbow pads. This is of course supposed to be the WrestleMania 10 Bret Hart. He had elbow pads. They are nowhere to be found on this figure and they did not come with him. Why they forgot to throw those in, I don't know. But he is missing elbow pads and that is... It's not a huge deal breaker but it's not accurate to his WrestleMania 10 appearance because he did have elbow pads. But other than that, he's a really good figure and we'll move on to his articulation. He has a standard ball joint head. He can look up, down, left and right. 
and as well as tilt to the side. His hair does not hinder articulation one bit. Arms on a ball joint, they go out, do a full 360. They spin at the bicep, bend at the elbow, single joint, spin and bend at the wrist. And it's the same for both arms. Ah, he has a really tight ab joint. You can hear that. That's how tight it is. He has a waist joint. Legs go forward and back. They go out. They spin at the thigh. He is double jointed in the knee. If you don't believe me, that's one joint. And that's two. His boot swivels. And he has a really tight ankle joint as well as some ankle pivot. So overall, great articulation. I uh, can't say any more good things about this figure, so what I'm going to do now is get him s straightened up and we'll move on to my final thoughts, so sit tight folks. And so here we have Bret Hart pose for my final thoughts, and overall I really do enjoy this figure. Uh, besides my minor nitpicks of the elbow pads and a few pain errors, he's a really fantastic figure. Like I said, the glasses, I'm not sure how I feel about them, but uh, I guess that's the only way you can do it. I found this guy at Target. Uh, normally he'll run you about... $20 at Target. Uh, I actually picked him up with Shawn Michaels for about uh, $20 together. Uh, Toys Us was having a sale and I price matched these guys so $10 is a steal for any Elite figure. If you can find him in stores I highly recommend you pick him up. And this is King of Dragons 5000 Sing. If you're a Bret Hart fan, pick this guy up and I'll see you later. Take care YouTube. What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here. I really hope you enjoyed my WWE Elite Collection WrestleMania 30 Flashback Series reviews. If you're watching Shawn Michaels' review, go ahead and click on Bret Hart to be taken to Bret Hart's video. And vice versa, if you're watching Bret Hart's video, go ahead and click on Shawn Michaels to be taken to Shawn Michaels' review. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the reviews. Uh, I have more content coming your way, so stay tuned and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.